Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this grocery haul. So just to be real and honest, I have been out of town for over a week. I've actually been out of the country, interestingly enough. Um, I did some volunteer work at a children's home out of the country and we just needed a few things to get by till I could do my big like meal plan and grocery haul. And so we just stopped by Food Lion and got a few things. Now, a few things turned into about $70 worth of groceries, which I'm sure happens to everybody, but oh gosh, you know. So I'll show you guys exactly what I got and what I'm planning to do with it. I have about three meals planned out and I do have some meat in my freezer so I could get by for at least like a week, week and a half. So I'm hoping that I'll just kind of get by until I have time to actually meal plan and grocery haul because I hate going in the store without a plan. That's kind of like my biggest pet peeve in life in general. So I hate forgetting things and it's just how it goes. So hope you enjoy this grocery haul. I will show you what I have and what I have for dinners for the next couple days. Okay guys, so let's show you what I got. Um, first of all, I got just some drinks over here. I got a little thing of orange juice and a thing of milk. I've actually never tried this milk. I usually buy organic milk and I've been buying the Horizon brand for years, like probably almost 10 years. So I kind of wanted to try this and I saw that it said lactose free and some people in my house have a hard time digesting milk. So I thought maybe I would try this one. So if you've tried it before, let me know or you have any other suggestions. Um, I got just a few sodas um, just to have. We're trying not to drink them, but I got one Coke, one Diet Coke. But y'all, if you've been around for a while, you know I love me some Diet Coke. But I've been doing very, very, very good. And I am making some chicken noodle soup. I will actually put uh, an eye right here and let you guys know. Uh, I've made a video on it before and it is the best. It's crowd pleasing, easy, you could make a lot of it. Um, we usually make it and make it last for a couple days. So that's what I actually needed these potatoes for. Um, I usually use red potatoes. These ones were on sale for like two, $2.99. So I said, well, we're gonna use these. <laughs> I went ahead and got some bananas because we didn't have any. We've just gotten back into town. Went ahead and got strawberries, one just to have, one for like a dessert. Um, I got about three days worth of groceries and um, we're going to have tacos one night. So that's why I got iceberg lettuce because my guys love lettuce on tacos. For the soup that I'm making, I needed some chicken bouillon cubes. And this is what I use instead of actually using um, chicken broth. So you can buy the big things and use a chicken broth. The This whole thing was 24 cubes. One cube makes one cup of broth. And this whole thing was, I think, like $1.99 or something like that. So very, very, very inexpensive way to make chicken broth. Just grabbed a, a Pioneer Country gravy mix. This stuff is the best. If you guys need gravy like for a brunch or something like that, Oh my gosh, so easy, it's the best one. Somebody gave me that secret years and years ago and I've been doing it ever since. We like the sausage flavor too. And sometimes I put sausage in it, like cook it and then I crumble it up and put it in it. It's the best. Um, went ahead and got some onions for the soup. I, I got two, I know for sure I'm only gonna use one, but I was afraid I would need one before I went back to the store, so I got two. I got some cherry tomatoes for me this is the my best kind i buy i love them there are a little bit more but i just i just love them i got those for tacos and then i got some stuff for spaghetti and so that's why i got the bertoli um olive oil and garlic uh this was the closest to what i usually buy and then the parmesan cheese i didn't actually know if i had any so i just bought some which i'm sure you guys have done before and you guys can understand but it was more or less I didn't want to deal with it in case I didn't have any we actually got some Rice Krispies back here and that is to make Rice Krispie treats actually Fruity Pebbles were just a splurge by I just walked by there and I was like ooh and so I got those uh, over on this side is some more fun the half and half is actually for the soup that I'm making. The whipping cream, I always get this and I make my own uh, whipped cream 
for strawberries. And that is like a go-to dessert that we have probably every like two weeks maybe. And it's just so easy because I can just cut these up, make that super fast, and I'm good to go, easy, done. Uh, because it is TJ Friday, y'all know I have... Because it's TJ Friday, y'all know I have crazy traditions, so that's where a lot of these snacks come in. So we're having our movie night. We try to have movie night um, every Friday. We've been doing it for like six years, I think, since my son was about three or four. And so now it's our tradition. So if we don't have our church small group, um, we have movie night. So we got some snacks for that. That's why my son got goldfish and actually got this thing of kettle corn. Uh, they used to sell these at Walmart, and I haven't seen them, but you put that whole thing in the microwave. And so you put this whole thing in the microwave, it goes on and it basically makes it in the box. But they didn't have any normal popcorn, and we only have one box of it. But they'll be fine. I actually got some Muddy Buddies. This was another impulse purchase of my own. And I got some Doritos for the boys they actually my husband and son really wanted those and they picked those out themselves so the only other things i got is i got thin spaghetti for spaghetti night and i got fettuccine for the soup that i'm making tonight and then i don't know if i told you i got celery actually for the soup too this is um just a small thing of cinnamon rolls i'm thinking for one of the mornings, maybe tomorrow morning, I'm not sure. But I wanted to kind of have some well-rounded stuff for a couple of days for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we'll even do breakfast for lunch a lot of times. The only other things I bought is my son loves these. Oh my gosh, he just thinks they're great. I actually think the chicken is a pretty good quality chicken considering that it's like frozen. And these are usually about a dollar at most places. Um, it comes with five chickens and five little smiley, we call them smiley fries. And um, they're like a, more of like a potato fritter. So you, you um, bite into this and it has kind of a mashed potato inside, but he loves them. He's loved them since forever. And so a lot of times I'll buy five or 10 at a time because he's older, he's like 10 now, um, he's been eating two at a time, and um, it's just such an easy lunch when we homeschool and things like that. So that is all my things. Like I said, it was about $70. There's at least three meals in here, two desserts, a um, couple, actually a couple breakfast items, and then snacks. So it's not too terribly bad, but it does feel like not that many groceries for $70, but what can you do? But those are actually my plans for the next couple days and stay tuned. I will have a meal plan and grocery haul video coming out very soon. Okay guys, so that was it for this small grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to doing a big like meal plan and grocery haul coming up very, very soon. So be on the lookout for that. Also, I have some cleaning videos coming up. Uh, because I had company at my house before I left. Actually, the company stayed at my house during the time that I left. Um, we kind of opened our home to some missionaries and they stayed here while um, I was gone. And so yeah, uh, being home, I kind of want to do like an overhaul and clean up everything. So be on the lookout for that stuff as well. So I will see you guys in my next brand new video and I'll talk to you in those comments below. Bye for now.